So, Jay, how you feeling today, man? I'm good, I'm good. Yes, man, we're sitting down. Fourth time in a row. Yeah. So, I see that Trump is trying to open up the economy. Yeah, it's, it's too early, man. It's too premature. I mean, you got to learn from mistakes, man. I mean, you see what they happened when Florida reopened. Yes. They had their highest uh, incline increase in cases. When Florida opened up, now they're trying to do Georgia. Right, and they you see, did. And you yesterday, see the cases they had jumped what to six hundred. Yes, six hundred. The and cases. They had what fifty deaths or something like that. Yeah, I think I seen twenty, like around yeah. twenty deaths. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, what do you foresee like moving forth? See, these people are hurting, man. You know, ninety percent of uh, jobs are small business jobs, right? Which uh, have. 20 employees or less. Got it. So as you can see, like, you know, with Shake Shack and PF Chain, they, they actually applied for those loans too. Right. They got so much backlash that they gave the money back, which was good. Absolutely. I've but, seen that. But so well, now you have these restaurants, man, they're on their last leg. They, they can't they can't not miss out on this revenue like this. Mm -hmm. All right. So like this revenue is like lost and it's never coming back. Like you out for a month. So now you got a lot of businesses trying to push to reopen because this is their livelihood. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like outside from the moral aspect of it, which they should focus on, you know, actually people dying. You know, you even had a uh, Las Vegas mayor. You know what I mean? She was basically saying in an interview that she wants to make her 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 city uh, a, a test site for mm. the state, like reopen it and see what happens. Like you know what I mean? Because they lose so much revenue. You know, and it's and it's, it's messed up moral wise. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be all about a dollar or all about some some currency that's really worthless. You get what I'm saying? It right. should be about the people. You know, and and I foresee them. You know trying to open up different places, but you gotta look at the results, man. We still got an increase in cases. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You still got people dying. I think we got 51,000 nationally in the United States. Yes. You know what I mean? As far as dust concerned, and it's continuing and to climb. globally, it's, it's almost 200,000. Yeah, it's, it's sick, man. So, I mean, like, we was already headed here before the coronavirus hit. You know right. what I mean? Like, even December, man, before, before January even hit, the Federal Reserve Bank had already started doing their, uh, Buying repurchasing programs for banks because they didn't have any liquidity, mm -hmm. you know. And then 2019 was the worst year ever for for business closures. You know what I mean? They had over almost 600 thousand uh, jobs just lost for the whole year. Yeah, that was one of the worst in decades. You know Got what I mean? It. So it was already up to it. And and my thing is, Amber, like you know, our parents told us, you know, growing up to what. Go to, go to school, school. Yep. get good grades, so you get a good job. That was the formula. You know, and the millennials, you know, millennials are those people that was born in 1981 up to 2000, well, up to 1996. Okay. So these are millennials. So, and millennials in 2016 became the majority of the workforce. Right. All right. So we listen to our parents because 40% of millennials have their bachelor's degrees compared to only 25% of baby boomers. Got it. You know what I mean? So we listen to what our parents say, and, and now look at us. You know what I mean? Look at the job market. You know what I mean? Look at how many jobs are being lost. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Look at the jobs that are open. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got healthcare. High. Unemployment just reached the record high. You know, it's going to continue to climb. Mm -hmm. You know, so our, our unemployment rate is around 23%. But if you calculate those 96 million people that's not included in the workforce, so if you don't apply for a job or you have it turned in that you're still actively looking for a job, they don't count you as unemployed. Got it. You know what I mean? And that's that's why you get this understated amount. Because really our unemployment rate is, is way over 23%. Right. You know what I mean? It'll be double that if you're averaging these people who really don't have jobs. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So these businesses are, are really trying to push the line, man, and get it back open because they lose so much profit. And you know, some of these businesses are just not going to be able to survive. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, you got to have forward thinkers. I mean, I'm not sure if you heard about Travis Scott doing a fortnight. You know what I mean? So, you know, Fortnite's the game. Yeah, go He basically with that. did, um, it's like an animation thing, you know, inside the game. He it, he had a concert, you know what I'm saying? Within oh, Fortnite. that's dope. Yeah, and it was, it's like creative. Like, Very so, creative. Like, like, like I said, I'm looking, I'm looking for these innovative new ways yes. because a lot of businesses start from these type of crises. Absolutely. And this was a great uh, way to start streaming a concert during this type of pandemic we got going Absolutely. on. Absolutely. social distancing. So, like, yeah, his, uh, his, uh, his streams went up like 26%. You know, he was able to sell merch off of it. He oh, had wow. 12 million viewers in there. Wow. You know what I mean? 12 million. 12 million. Oh. 12 million. You know what I mean? So that was big. You know what I mean? Right. So these guys, like, you know, that can't work. You know, a lot of these rappers and stuff, they get their money off of these shows. Yes, absolutely. I was talking about that earlier. Yeah. So it's, it's a lot of revenue being lost, too. Yeah, daily. You know what I mean? So, and I don't see this thing opening back up. They just had the NFL draft. I don't see NFL happening this year. This, this is the That's full my question. Sport. I really want to know, is the NFL going to proceed this They're year? Trying. Okay. They're trying. I mean, it's, that's like America's sport on Sunday. Absolutely. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. 
That's physical contact. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, uh, camps are supposed to open up, you know what I mean? Uh, spring camps, I mean, training camps and everything. Right. So how can these people train without no gyms open or have be around a team facility, you know, this, that many people when you're supposed to be practicing social distancing? This doesn't, doesn't seem like it's going to happen to me. Yeah, but to me, it's been happening right in front of our eyes. I mean, yeah. Military Circle Mall. Oh, man. It was, the signs was already here. I mean, a lot of people, like our mall, Military Circle Mall here in Norfolk, you know, like it was a big... Uh, selling point for us as black people. We go there, get our clothes, yeah, our shoes. Up. Yeah, I mean that, that was, that was a lot. Yeah, you get dropped off at the mall. You yeah. know what I mean? Those were the days. Like now, you're seeing these commercial and commercial real estate is in huge trouble. Mm. So what drives commercial real estate is having vacancies in there. Excuse me, ha having businesses in there. Yeah, if businesses. you got vacancies, then you're losing, and then you go off the sales. How much this store is selling? Right. You know what I mean? That's how you're able to change your rent and stuff. Yes. You have nobody selling anything right now. Regardless of what people think, it's like ninety percent of consumers purchase inside physical stores. Right. Even no, I agree with that. They want to get Amazon all this credit for businesses closing. You know, they were using excuses at first. Mm -hmm. Now they're gonna put it all on COVID nineteen. Got it. You yeah. You know what I mean? For sure. But it was already in the works. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I said, we we seen the signs already, and like businesses too, man. That's why as a business owner, you have to have you have to reinvest in, 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 in uh, knowing what's going on. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You have to have your hands in some of everything. Yeah. Because these people that had these these small way of thinking, these businesses are shut down. Yeah, and they have no, no I, I totally agree with that. You know, so I think it's important in order to have, you know, um, research and development within business too, you know, and just being to know what's going on. Yeah. That's why it's always good to educate yourself. You Absolutely. I mean? No, I totally agree with that. 